Hey guys, uh, nice to see you again for this week's session update. Uh, it's been a little bit of a busy week, um, especially on session. We have multiple tracks running at the same time, so basically been working on message requests on session, which I've told you about a few times. Um, that's now in QA on all platforms, um, so it's being tested right now. And um, you know we're hoping for a release in the next couple of weeks for message requests. We'll see exactly when the release date falls, but um, that should be good to finally get out one of those um, spam prevention tools that we've wanted for a while. Um, we're also working on ID blinding as well, which I spoke about in last week's dev update. Um, specifically on the SOGS side, we were having a few issues with the reference implementation, which is going to happen um, in the session open group server first, which Jason is working on. So we finally kind of came down to a spec um, yesterday, so that's now been finished and we have a kind of reference implementation that we're going to hand to the other um, client developers now. Um, so that should be moving forward um, quite aggressively over the next couple of weeks, so it should be good to see that come into production soon. Um, we have also been working on calls as well, so there are a few features that we wanted to add into calls, stuff like screen rotation, so when you're um, you know, having a video call with someone, that when you rotate the screen, um, the behavior is expected, and then also adding in um, mirroring so you can see um, yourself when you're making a video call as well. Um, so that's something that we have added in now and should be making its way to beta on the platforms probably at a bit of a staggered release just because we're pushing to the beta um, over the next couple of weeks and um, hoping to get a calls release to the wider public um, a little bit after that. The exact date's not locked in yet. Um, so that kind of covers Session and SOGS. Um, on LokiNet we have mainly been tackling um, the IPv6 leak on Windows, so we believe we have a fix for that that's deployed now. We're just testing if it actually works. I'm trying to find the correct IPv6 config because some of the ISPs in Australia don't have access to um, IPv6 functionality, so we're trying to get that tested on the US side, um, or at least our ISP here doesn't have um, IPv6 um, enabled for our network. Um, so yeah, that's moving forward and we're also trying to get Mac builds um, working as well. So Jason's tackling that this week, um, having a look at Mac. Um, that's it for the LokiNet side. On Core, we've basically been working on Wallet 3. I think we've nearly wrapped up batching altogether, so probably won't hear too much about that until the next hard fork. Basically working on Wallet 3 now um, and making sure the functionality is there. Specifically this week on transaction signing is what Sean's working on. Um, so yeah, that should be it for this week. Thanks guys for listening.